I've done videos on the programming hub uh, application in the past and this uh, and I've done uh, I've done actually two reviews of this uh, application on my other channel um, and I actually want to do I think the last review was last year and since then they've actually added a lot of stuff to it so I have the pro version of the application and I'm not actually sure what the free version restricts you to uh, I do not use it as much as I've used it in the past but I think it's fair to say that this application is really good for someone who's starting out and trying to learn programming and computer science and they want to do it via their mobile phone or their tablet I'm on my tablet here and what I also want to say is that these guys so programming hub that's how you find it in the App Store Programming Hub. They also have a web version. I think it's programminghub.io. But um, you might want to double check and don't trust me word for word on that. I have a couple of courses here. Um, it, I have the C++, which is actually completed. I don't know why the um, progress here is not updated have the hacking advanced that I, we might actually look into this uh, um, course on my other channel I have the OOPS which is object oriented programming and I also have the Go pro programming started uh, I'm more interested right now into this OOPS now let's actually look into what um, the programming hub offers and I'm doing this video because I want to say they have many many courses and one thing that I might not be really satisfied with is the fact that they kind of take the same approach with almost all their courses and uh, the level of in-depth is somewhere moderate like beginner moderate um, it doesn't go in depth as much as I would like to so that's why I don't spend too much time on programming hub right now but I would want to say that they give you a lot of stuff so if we look into the courses here you have the top trending courses you have Python of course always trending Python uh, C++ you have Java and ethical hacking so it actually probably goes to show that um, the interest of their large user base now we have the free courses so this is interesting you have fundamentals IT basics HTML artificial intelligence these are free courses so Android development this is a free course data science machine learning Google Ads SEO CSS and building a website so you have a lot of stuff to explore if you're just uh, starting out and you are undecided if you want to play if you want to pay for the pro version I don't know what the how much it costs you might want to look it up new courses make your own cryptocurrency so let's see what is this about a cryptocurrency is a digital asset designed to work as a medium if you have been noticing the success of crypto this course will get you started with the fundamentals of cryptocurrency and the base concepts such as blockchain understanding the cryptocurrency development process and how it works getting hands on the process of building a crypto ethereum token ethereum 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 so i'm gonna have to say like until it sticks ethereum token and a bitcoin fork students who is this target audience students and industry professionals who wish to get hands-on cryptocurrency development benefits no middleman more confidential potentially to help so this actually talks about the benefits of the of a, a cryptocurrency salary for someone who knows this i think this is a bit overstretched because you do not actually get to become a full-blown cryptocurrency creator here requirements knowledge and experience with the concept of blockchain ability to think logically and broadly and if we look into so we are in the description now but if we look into the index here it actually tells us sort of like the curriculum watch the benefits of certificate video 
so the world of crypto uh, these are the headlines of uh, the lessons the crypto success story introduction to blockchain your own cryptocurrency why should you own a crypto don't do it i would say coins versus tokens the upcoming ride let's revise create your cryptocurrency now this might be interesting so you have the cryptocurrency development process the foundation step choose and pick working on architecture bring it to the market so this might be interesting then you have built um, your own tokens on the ethereum platform via the smart contracts build your own tokens too build your own coin forking cryptocurrency what are bitcoin forks and a conclusion and you have the certificate now what i've seen at some courses so this was the for make your own cryptocurrency for some courses you have um, a test at the end of the course and when i was actually more active on this application um i didn't actually see so if we look into c plus plus for example let's actually wait for it to load so this is how it looks like and as you can see here i have it completed 100 percent you have the index you have the lessons so index here is like the syllabus you have a compiler where you can actually run code you have programs which is really interesting you have cheats and a description of the course which we've seen for the cryptocurrency one now for some courses like i said there might be tests at the end of the course okay now let's move on so uh make your own cryptocurrency you have meteor gs various flavors of javascript data structure and algorithms this is interesting i might want to take a look into it because i'm really interested in algorithms right now you have databases containerized environments python kotlin which is really interesting and it says advanced well um let me just not take them for granted when they say actually advanced you have devops i don't know what this flavor of css is you have react native computer vision using python solidity this is for uh blockchain development as far as i know ktor i don't know what that is kotlin again so you have two kotlins kotlin advance and kotlin lisp graphql really interesting lua nxjs gatsby tableau foundation framework i'm not sure what that is java spring so this is for spring boot i believe django git typescript java hibernate bootstrap framework flask with python ios view firebase selenium python for ai aws cloud computing this is really interesting machine learning with python probably dino laravel julia julia with python i believe Material Design Flutter, Scala, Amber, Edge, Digital Market. Oh my god, so many things. Node.js, Rust, Perl, Digital Marketing, MATLAB, Software Testing, MongoDB, Google Ads, Express.js, Growth Hacking, Google Shopping Ads, Big Data Analytics. So as you can see, not only programming... Uh, but also marketing and actually growing strategies SEO as well you have RPA interesting Dart I don't know what Dart is UI UX this is for user design SEO as I've said Unity for game development more Kotlin cybersecurity software engineering OPS Angular Go I've started the Go one because I'm interested in Go, Python, Ruby, social media marketing, React, IoT, interesting, Android, cloud computing, ethical hacking, building a website, machine learning, cryptography, data science, and you have 
another section here which is digital marketing you have two four six eight nine courses you have web development you have a lot of courses for web development so these are uh, categorized we've seen here all the courses and then you have them categorized over here which are mostly the same courses you have mobile development then you have them categorized based on uh, knowledge level beginner advanced then you have game development analytics hacking you have four courses full stack development you have two four six seven flavors of javascript two four six eight ten twelve fourteen python you have eight courses on python alone and you have software testing so this is programming hub in a nutshell in 2021 almost august um if some of you are interested uh, i might actually go in depth with uh, looking into the curriculum of other courses so let me know in the uh, comment section below if you're interested in having me look more in depth into a specific course